So welcome, this is Brian Rowe and Northwest Justice Project putting this on as part of an LSC TIG grant. Uh, today we're going to be talking about ShareLaw Video, a website that was put together by Atlanta Legal Aid and we've got two staff from Atlanta Legal Aid who have been doing incredible stuff on this who are here to teach you about making videos very, very simply and easily. We got a bunch of feedback from the community in working on this site and one of the major focuses of today's webinar is going to be the uh, help guides and how you can use these new quick start guides or quick start kits that we've put together in order to create videos. But before we jump into um, that new feature, I'd like to talk about some of the new changes to Share Law Video. Um, number one, we've removed the login. So it's much easier for people to actually get to see, view the content that is available. Um, in order to download content also, you no longer need a login, but you do need to give us some information and agree to uh, the terms and conditions here, which is basically that it's available under a license that uh, allows nonprofit organizations to use each of the different pieces of content here um, in their education and outreach. Uh, we do collect a little bit of information, your name, your organization, and your email. Um, this is pre-populated with my email here at Northwest Justice Project because I'm logged in, uh, but you do not have to have an account to download. You just have to be able to give us that information and then we'll be monitoring that um, to see who is creating videos and hopefully be able to outreach to the community and help individuals with videos. And then when videos are created, we also want to be able to promote and share those through the LSNTAP blog or other places so that we can help people actually find these videos when they're done. Um, we also have tried to upgrade the visual appearance of the site to make it easier to see what type of content um, is available. Uh, we are slowly but surely adding better functionality with regards to thumbnails so that you can get an idea of what the content is directly before downloading it, taking snippets or pieces of videos and showing that as part of uh, the thumbnails that are there. Uh, we're still working on some ideas for slides and um, audio content of how we can come up with a thumbnail that lets people know what the audio content has in it. Um, one of the really nice things about the site is we've got a strong search with a lot of different categories. If you are on someone else's um, legal services website, you find their YouTube channel and you see content that they've created, uh, you can easily go through here and then search for content by the donating organization, the organization that has provided that content to us. Uh, so for example, Northwest Justice Project um, has a, a significant number of videos that we have done and we put a lot of the source materials up there. As you can see, Illinois Legal Aid has donated a huge amount of content as has Atlanta here. Um, we've also got a tag feature that will help you um, figure out or find particular common items in all of the, everything that is available. Um, and a lot of these come up with solid, useful uh, thumbnails to it. Um, there are a diversity of content here ranging from static images to short little video clips. This gavel here is just someone actually hitting um, a gavel that could be put into or sliced into a video somewhere. Um, the search function on here is really good. Um, if there are ideas or things that you think we could do better with this website, please feel free to contact me, contact LSNTAP, and, or just take the survey that we've got embedded here on the front page, give us feedback about it. We, our goal is to continually upgrade this site and try to improve how easy it is to use. Um, the next section that is really important here um, is our help guides. There is a list here of how to upload media. You do need to create a content 
or create a login in order to upload content to the site. Um, we are happy to help you with this process. The walkthrough is pretty easy, um, but we're also willing to just take email submissions and upload it ourselves to the website and help you with that process. We're here to get as much content up here tagged as uh, with the highest quality tags as possible to make it easy for other people to find. Uh, we also create guides on how to use different pieces of software and a big part of this webinar today is going to be how to use free software in order to create your videos using the quick start kits that are right here. And this is where I'm going to turn it over uh, to Kristen to talk some about those quick start kits and then walk you through uh, creating a video using Windows Movie Maker. Okay, what I wanted to do is sort of introduce the idea of the quick start kits. We've sort of changed the name uh, several times. We've called them packets for a while, quick start packets, quick start guides. Um, the idea is when we created Share Law Video, video content for statewide websites was kind of in its infancy in the legal services community and we envision share law video as a place to sort of share raw material um, so that uh, organizations could have a easy way to create new video content um, for specific for their organization um, or for their jurisdiction and now that we have sort of a, a nice body of high quality replicable video content um, things are a lot easier or should be a lot easier. You don't need to like, you can if you want to, cut and paste, you know, grab the gavel scene and grab the judge scene and make your own video with your own content for your own jurisdiction. But the quick start kits are designed to make it very easy, quick and simple to take the replicable, replicable video projects that other organizations have done and make it so that you can actually replicate it because I know on our statewide website, I, I love, for example, some of um, Connecticut Law Help's um, how to get ready for court videos. But at the end of it, it talks, it sends you to CT Law Help and it doesn't send you to georgialegalaid.org or it doesn't send you to Atlanta Legal Aid. So it wasn't something that I could just grab and embed in my website. So the quick start kits are designed to give you absolutely everything you need to do that, to take a replica, very carefully, thoughtfully designed, high quality video and replicate it, not reinvent the wheel, not redo the content. Um, we've taken out all of the jurisdictional um, specific content and we've created placeholders so that you can put in your jurisdictional um, information. And so you're not recreating content when you use a quick start kit. You're using content that somebody has already very carefully put together with an eye for it to be replicated by other jurisdictions. Where you find them on the site is you go to the help guide section and we've created a list of quick start kits. Um, I sort of, when we got this idea, I surveyed the community and kind of tested out whether the idea was something people were interested in and people were and they gave me um, sort of an indication of the topics they were interested in replicating and that includes landlord-tenant, landlord consumer, housing, and benefits. And we did our very best to find videos that hit those topics. It's also designed so that people with zero tech background can replicate these videos, can follow the instructions using free software and um, and make a video for your statewide website to be used by the end of the day. Um, I've sort of timed doing these videos and it takes me less than an hour to do. So it's really we've sort of parted down to the simplest method. Um, thank you so much Gab and Kristen. We greatly appreciate you coming out here and uh, going over Share Law Video and how to replicate that video content with these quick start kits. You're very welcome. Oh, looks like there's a question. 
Oh, excellent. We've got a question uh, about the photos that are used. Are they licensed so that organizations can safely use them in videos? Yes, a lot of the photos are either um, created by individual organizations or um, they are from uh, sources like Pixel Bay that are public domain, um, that type of stuff. So all, all of the images, all of the content, um, the organizations that are donating the content um, have set it up in a way so that other organizations can use it. Um, copyright is one of those things that we're definitely cognizant of in creating and that's one of the big reasons that Share Law Video exists is to try to uh, make it so that you can easily find content that has been licensed in a way that legal services, nonprofit organizations can use it. Uh, we encourage all of our donors to use um, a Creative Commons license that makes it really easy for other um, organi organizations to use it. In fact, all of the photos that I used in the PowerPoint um, that I was demonstrating with, uh, with the exception of one photo, they all came from Microsoft Office clip art. They've got a lot of great stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, and um, Ellis Entap about two years ago wrote a full guide um, on copyright and it has a section in there about um, finding uh, content that can be used specifically for video projects, blog posts, that type of stuff. Um, and that guide is available on our website. Um, you're seeing a, a picture of it. Uh, currently here. It was co-authored by myself and Liz Lehman, who uh, was working out of Montana Legal Services at the time. Uh, any other questions? If not, we're going to be closing out. Thank you so much for attending. Thank you.